It is meme coin trading season again and with it Maneki is going up quite a bit as well. Solana tokens in general are doing pretty well now. There's a lot of momentum. Let's have a look at how much longer this Maneki rally can last. Let's have a look at on-chain data most people are not considering. So have a look at how the total value locked on different chains is developing. The amount of value locked in Solana grew by 28% in the last month. It was one of the best performing blockchains. If you haven't yet had a look at the Blast blockchain chain you might want to do that as well that's growing very fast as well and if you want to get a bit more adventurous there's also the merlin chain that grew by 169 percent in the last month but across the larger chains solana is definitely winning the game and so maneki is up 30 percent today it's currently at 1.6 cents and this week it almost doubled but here's the thing about meme coin trading you do want to be very cautious with timing because over the long term Maneki didn't do too well so let's have a look at that data directly on chain Maneki has the fifth largest liquidity pool so there's 20 million dollars locked up in the token and that's a lot relative to the market cap so most of trading still happens on chain that's why you can look at on chain analytics and get a picture with very little distortion we've already talked about slurf book of meme the mu token dog with head popcat beer we've already talked about all of those tokens on this channel feel free to check out those videos now we want to find out how much more upside there is for maneki the first thing to note is that the centralized exchanges aren't yet supporting the token that much right because there's only another 4x if you go 100 on chain once we do a 4x in the price or in the liquidity we already rival slurf and book of meme so future growth really has to come from centralized exchange demand and i believe that's actually what's driving the current rally have a look at the last 24 hours the price went up by quite a bit but the number of buyers was actually smaller than the number of sellers in other words the buyers on average were larger with their trading amount than the sellers this could be accumulation by the whales it could be accumulation by the centralized exchanges which makes a lot of sense when you've got that much trading volume going on that many people interested in the token why not support this more why not be involved more in market making there's no issue with the security of the token either the dex tools io score is very high 99 out of 99 no problem here and yes there is already ownership by centralized exchanges but it's not yet significant Gate.io holds 4.5% of the token, Crypto.com 3.5, BitGet 1.5, Maxi 1.4. And that involvement by the centralized exchanges is even advertised on the website down here. So probably there was some kind of money or some kind of token allocation flowing to those centralized exchanges to enable trading there. But it doesn't look like those centralized exchanges have a large stake in this. And that's probably why we see the recent rally. There is going to be more market making happening by centralized exchanges. Probably the tokens will also be more promoted within the centralized exchanges at some point. Now the central question is always how organic is a rally and we have seen a lot of organic growth in the past. Now we see a lot of growth by the bigger players, by the whales. The question is, is there still a lot of social excitement? Is there still a lot of retail people jumping on this here? Let's have a look at the Twitter account. We've got 56,000 followers and the views of the recent Twitter posts reach around 17k here, 15k here. 11k here and that's why the number of holders is 85,000. so it looks like this is actually organic and not too manipulated now with the involvement of centralized exchanges trading becomes a bit harder as well i personally like to trade tokens that aren't yet dominated by the centralized exchanges and i want to show you why have a look at this chart over here this is the number of users that are trading the money key token by the hour and there seems to be some cycles over here right this tends to go up and down we have a low around 2 a.m utc we've got another low over here again 3 4 a.m utc here's another low same time of the day and it makes a lot of sense that at that time of the day there isn't so many new people jumping on this right this is when most people are sleeping this is also when there's few youtube views and what's important about meme coins is that there is a correlation between attention on a token and the price 
So when there's not a lot of people trading right now, the price tends to be relatively speaking depressed. When there is a lot of new people jumping in, then of course the price tends to go up. So it does make sense to buy meme coins on average when everybody else is sleeping around 2, 3 a.m. UTC time zone. That kind of strategy works very well when there's not yet a lot of market makers. But of course, once the centralized exchanges are getting involved, then there are a lot of quant traders in there as well and they balance out those effects. So I like to always play against the weak competition right you want to be early you want to trade the tokens that aren't yet dominated by the binances and maxis of this world right now maneki trading is not yet dominated by the centralized exchanges there's still a lot of trading on radium directly on chain but that will likely change rather sooner than later here's another data point by the way all of those charts here that we see in the background come from a tool that i've developed myself you can get access to that tool down below the bitcoinstrade.com you can plug in any Solana token into this tool and look at those statistics for any token. So feel free to check it out, thebitcoinstrade.com. What we see over here is the trading volume per day by trader segment. And I've split this up in four segments. Small retail is the wallets that have less than $1,000 worth of the token. Medium-sized retail is between $1,000 and $10,000. Large retail is between $10,000 and $100,000. And the whales are the wallets that have more than $100,000 worth of the token. What's very interesting here is when we look at whales and large retail, so at the largest wallets, the wallets with at least $100,000 of the token, this is actually declining. So medium-sized retail and small retail are getting engaged. A lot of trading volume is happening. But again, note that in the last 24 hours, there was less buyers than sellers while the price went up. So even though retail might be trading a lot, it's actually the larger wallets that are buying. I will continue to make updates on Maneki and on other meme coins on Solana. If you're interested in that, feel free to subscribe. I publish videos regularly. A like would be very much appreciated as well. It helps the channel grow. If you've got Telegram and you haven't yet joined our chat, then feel free to check that out. The link is down below. It's 100% free. Looking forward to chatting with you. Feel free to also, of course, check out Premium. Link is as well down below.